it, uh, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today we are going to be testing out a few beauty bay bits. But before we do so, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the little subscribe button down below. It's always nice to have new people here so feel free to subscribe. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Okay, so today's product in question is actually by Beauty Bay, the makeup store. So the online brand Beauty Bay has started bringing out makeup. They first brought out like a load of massive palettes. Personally, they were a little bit intimidating for me. I'm not gonna lie, there was so many eyeshadows in there and I would probably never use it. I'm just being completely honest, but this one intrigued me a lot. So the category that these palettes are under is everything you need, so the EYN palettes. I got the Bright Matte 9 colour palette. I love doing bright looks, as you can see. Uh, spoiler alert, sneak peek here. <laughs> Do you guys actually prefer seeing the finished product before or after? Let me know in the comments. But this is a 9 pan eyeshadow palette with a few bright ass colours in here. It comes in this pretty holographic packaging, which I kind of don't want to get rid of. <laughs> and the actual palette itself looks like this. It's a matte black with a nice blue iridescent logo and everything on it. This is £8 and you can buy it obviously off Beauty Bay and this is what this baby looks like. When I saw this I knew I wanted it, like the bright yellow, the bright pink and also this baby pink in the middle really drew me in. I'm going to be swatching it on my arm and everything so you can see. I've obviously got it on my eyes so I'm going to be showing you how I did this look. I also have brushes here that I'm going to show you how I use and the quality and everything like that. I'm going to completely go through that for you. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say for the beginning of this video. Let's get straight into the swatches. Okay, so here are all the colours swatched. We have the white, which is Coconut Crush. This is actually pretty creamy. Pinky Promise. Make Them Wink. Hello Sunshine. Heat Wave. Carp Diem. Jaded. Pacific Dreams. And Purple Rain. So my left eye is primed, ready to go. Let's open this baby. I have not yet touched anything. And this is what she looks like. Super pretty packaging. It's matte with metallic blue. Everything you need. The bright matte palette. So what do I want to do? There's some pretty colors in here. Ooh, spot for choice. <laughs> kind of want to do like a pinky, orangey vibe, like stick into these kind of colors here. I don't know, I just want to try it out, see what kind of pigmentation we've got, see what kind of blendability we have. I'm going to go in with my Zoeva 231 Petite Crease Brush, which is this little fluffy kind of packing brush. And I'm going to go in with the colour Carp Diem. Carp, Carp Diem? Mmm, the red shade. <laughs> I'm just going to see which pigment we pick up. Oh, there's not a lot of fallout at all. There's literally no fallout, actually. <laughs> it took a little bit to pick some up, but... It looks good. I'm just gonna pat out the creases on the lid and I'm going to pack this in the crease. Okay, so this is quite a pink toned red as you can see. I'm gonna build this up some more. There we go. The second pass is so much better. It's obviously not exactly the same color, but reds usually do pull pink or orangey. It looks more pink on camera than it does in real life, but the pigment is even and it did build up pretty well. As I said, I don't know where I'm going with this, so please bear with me. I'm probably gonna look insane, but it's okay. Next, I'm gonna go in with the color Heat Wave and I'm gonna use the Morphe M562 brush. And we are gonna go 50% on the red and 50% on the bare lid. And we are gonna start blending this out. I feel like it's blended into kind of one color. Because I've got so much red on the lid, it's very much blended in with each other. But there's no skipping of the color, it's really even, and you can still see that orange coming through. Now I'm gonna go in with the same brush, and I'm gonna go into the color Hello Sunshine, which is a cute name for the bright yellow. Woohoo! There is a lot of kick up on this one, and this one's a little bit softer, so hopefully the pigment is good as well. We're gonna do the same, 50% on the orange and 50% on the lid. Mm -hmm. 
just going to go back in with that orange colour and kind of reinforce it just a little bit. It's looking super duper pretty. I really like that. The sunset eye is looking pretty good right now. <laughs> Yellow is actually really good and really pigmented and it blended like a dream. Now I'm going to go into the colour Purple Rain with my Morphe M507 brush. There's pretty much no kick up on that but a lot of pigment is actually on the brush. And I'm going to go ahead and tuck this right into the crease. and. I'm just pulling it down on the outer corner a little bit. The colours kind of changed going over the others, so it looks a lot darker and it's kind of a little bit patchy. I'm going to work on this colour a little bit to make it a bit more vibrant and I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher and blend it and we'll see what happens. <laughs> The purple's gone a little bit brown throughout here. I'm desperately trying to blend it. I might have to go in with the pink to assist a little bit. And let's just see if we can make this work because I really liked it so far and it's gone and ruined it. So that's a bit annoying. Okay, so this purple is very problematic. Can you see just like that gap there that is just completely missing pigment? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> the pigment's just dusting off whenever I try to put more on there. And yeah, it's just a very muddy colour. Okay, let's let's move on because I can't do any more to save this. I've tried so much. Okay. As Ariana Grande would say, thank you. Next. I'm going to quickly cut my crease with the P. Louise base. So I did kind of like a half cut crease and then just tapped it out with my finger on the edge. I really want to use this pink colour so I think that's what I'm going to do next. This is Make Them Wink. I'm going to go in with a Morphe M506 brush. And I'm just going to tap this over the edge of the purple and merge it and kind of fade it in. Bringing it down on an angle to blend it in. I really like this pink colour, it's really pigmented and really just bright and impactful. Now I'm going to go back in with the colour Heatwave and I'm going to go just after the pink and blend them together as well. I lost a bit of the pink so I'm just adding a little bit more in. Like look how pigmented that is. That went over the purple like nothing. <laughs> I was thinking about going in with the yellow after the orange, but I really want to try this colour called Picky Promise. So I'm going to take this on a Spectrum A16 brush, which is a flat little packing brush, and I'm going to go on the inner corner. That is a very pretty shade, I really like that. I might brighten it up with a little bit of the white though. But first I'm going to blend the orange shade with it. Okay, so I think that's all blended. I'm quite liking the way it looks right now. By the way, every other shade apart from the Hello Sunshine, there's been like zero fallout whatsoever. I really want to try the Coconut Crush shade, which is just the white. I'm going to use my same Spectrum brush, which I've just wiped off. Ooh, wow. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That comes off pretty pigmented, but it did kind of fluff everywhere. You're not going to be able to see on the pan, but it did kind of fluff everywhere. I just want to lighten up this inner corner by here. Okay, so that definitely brightened up the inner corner. It was kind of chalky though, I'm not gonna lie, and it's kind of kicked up my base just like a little bit. The consistency of it was just a little bit weird, so it's made my eye look kind of cakey in my inner corner, which I don't usually get with a P. Louise base. Obviously, I got a little bit of fallout here. This is why I do my eyes, first of all, I and mean, especially with looks like this because it's a lot of colour, so there is potential for a lot of fallout. What I really want to do is try and sort out this purple just a little bit more, see if I can blend it in more with the pink. Pink has actually kind of fluffed off, but I'm not blaming the pink at all, simply because that's gone over top of the purple, and it seems the purple is problematic, so I am not getting points of the pink because the pink was so bright. So I'm just going to quickly try and blend this just a little bit more because it is so patchy on the outer okay, corner. so this is the best I could do. <laughs> I tried my very hardest, but it's still kind of patchy out here. Just that purple, man. It's not the best. Okay, I'm going to go do my other eye and the rest of my face off camera, and then we'll be right back and we'll finish up the eyes. Hey guys, so I've almost finished doing my face makeup, but I thought I'd finish up the eyes quickly with you guys. And I feel like a bit of a failure, simply because I forgot I had some brushes from Beauty Bay that I also wanted to try with this video. So we're just going to try them now. So I have this brush, which is called Round the Blend. Cute name. Reminds me of Pocahontas. Just around the river bend for me. Coming for me. Comes in this little 
pouch thing, which is cute. But I just wanted to test the quality of these because they were really cheap. Like I think this was three pounds. Synthetic fibers feels really soft. It doesn't have a lot of movement to it. So hopefully this will be okay for the under eye. I really love the actual packaging of this though. It's really sleek. And then this other one I got is called Shade Out and it's just a kind of packing brush which is kind of small but I'm gonna see if I can try these on the lower lash line considering I didn't use it on my lid because I am a failure uh so yeah anyway I feel like we should really like blow it out on the lower lash line I've been really liking doing that it hides the bags okay <laughs> I'm gonna go into make them wink which is the bright pink in the palette and first of all taking this on a m507 brush start winging this out on the outer corner I'm gonna blend it into this purple up here I'm gonna kind of bring it in halfway I'm hoping when I put some lashes on this is gonna look okay <laughs> now I'm gonna take the round the blend brush these are very light like they feel like I'm not holding anything but we'll see how this blends I'm gonna go into the color pinky promise I think this is one of my favorite colors out of the palette anyway I'm gonna blend out this vibrant pink and yeah let's get to blending start blending it into the inner corner as well now I'm gonna take the shade out brush and we're gonna take the yellow which is called hello sunshine I'm going to put this in the inner third of my bottom lash line the pigment on that yellow is really really good I'm going in with heat wave which is the orange in between the pink and the yellow to blend them together okay and I think that's all I want to do for the eyes I'm gonna shove some nude liner on and then some lashes and then I'll be right back hey guys before I do my final thoughts on this eyeshadow palette I've also got two other brushes from Beauty Bay face brushes so I really wanted to just jump in and try these with you here I got the glow up brush which is actually supposed to be a highlighting brush but this is rather big for highlighting. I'd rather use this to like set under the eye. I love the shape of it though. I was actually looking for a brush this kind of shape for setting my under eyes. I've already set my under eye now. So I'm gonna try it for highlight but um, it is rather large. And then the other one I got was Contour Queen which is a firm contour brush but it does have a bit of give to it. So I'm hoping this is gonna be good for placing and blending contour. I'm going to quickly do my contour first. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Contour Chisel to Perfection palette and I use the medium cocoa shade which uh, I've hit pan on. <laughs> so the way I like to use my brushes for contour is I use it on a slant so I put the product here and then use the top of the brush to blend the contour up just because then you don't have too much product and it doesn't go everywhere and it's just easier. So I'm just gonna do exactly that. I'm using the tip of the brush. I'm gonna tap a little off on the back of my hand just to make sure I haven't got too much product on that. And I'm just going to start in this in. This is quite a firm brush even though it has give to it. It's not moving everywhere so I'm getting quite a good placement with this. It's not as soft as I'd like it to be although my contour does look really good. I did kind of question it because it is very small and just kind of just generically shaped but it is actually blending really nicely. One thing I will say about these brushes is they're not hard to hold but they're kind of slippery and because they're very tapered at the end I find myself kind of losing grip so I'm kind of holding the barrel a lot so if you want a very light hand maybe awkward because it's kind of flouncing around in your hand if you know what I mean if you have any problems with you know holding makeup brushes or anything like that I don't think these are going to be the best option for you just because they're slightly awkward the actual brush itself is good quality it looks aesthetically pleasing but practicality wise I don't feel like it's the best whoa I don't think it's the best. <laughs> I'm just gonna add a little bit of bronzer quickly using my BH Cosmetics bronzer. I'm gonna try the contour brush with blush as well, just why not? That added that really nicely. It's a good brush for adding pigment and then blending it out, I will say that. It's also very good for the price. So again, I don't know how comfortable I feel about using this as highlight, but we're gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna use my normal doll light highlight and let's just go in like it's so big like look at it on the back I'm hoping this just gives me a nice dispersed highlight and it's not gonna look too crazy I'm gonna light it over the skin 
very fluffy, moves over the skin quite a lot, so if you want precise highlighting, this isn't going to be good for that. But to give a nice veil of highlight, it didn't fluff everywhere like I thought it was going to. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Personally, I prefer something smaller, but this did the job and it's given a very nice glow to the skin. Okay, so I'm gonna go put on a lip, then I'll discuss my final thoughts on everything Beauty Bay today. Okay, so we are at the end of this journey. So as you can see, my eyes are all finished and I feel like from afar they look pretty good. Up close, um, first of all, my eyelashes are really badly put on today. Okay, I was having trouble with my glue. Please just ignore them. <laughs> the only thing that really lets this eyeshadow palette down is the purple. It was just so hard to work with. It was patchy, it went really muddy on the lid, I couldn't blend other eyeshadows on top of it, and then in other areas it completely kicked up the pigment so there was nothing there anymore. The white did kind of ball up my eye primer, which was kind of weird, I've never had that happened before but I kind of buffed it into the eyelid and it's kind of sorted that out I don't know what happened there but it looks okay now the rest of them they were so freaking good it was just that gosh down purple that I really wanted to work that just kind of jacked it all up obviously I haven't used these two down here but I will do so do I feel like this palette is worth it even though there's one dud shade in it I don't regret buying it I love the look that I came up with today so overall for the price I think this is a really good matte palette like the NYX brights palette I'm pretty sure that's around 16 pounds you do get a few more eyeshadows in there but it is more of a pricier option so if you're looking for something similar maybe go down this route I do personally have the makeup revolution palette as well but this is 10 pounds obviously you get a lot more shade variation in this one and this one is good but I will say I feel like the Beauty Bay one is more pigmented and you know I'm a girl who loves Makeup Revolution like they're one of my favorite brands ever the brushes I feel like you get what you pay for for these two they were six pound each so they're the bigger brushes and for these I believe these were like three pound as I said before they look aesthetically pleasing so they're gonna look nice on your makeup station just the way that they're shaped is just kind of awkward they're just easy to slip out of your hands it's just more inconvenience than anything the actual bristles are moderately soft, they're not the softest brushes in the world, but they blended out everything really well. I actually have a really good contour day today. The highlighting brush, I don't feel like this is a highlighting brush. It did give me a good highlight, but it's just personally too big in my opinion. I really like the actual brush, it is very fluffy and soft this one. The two eye brushes worked really well, again it's just the whole slipping out of the hand thing that just annoys me but you are getting what you're paying for they are very affordable and yeah I think that is it for this video <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed just chilling with me doing whatever you're doing sitting back and relaxing I hope before you go don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you get notified of future uploads and don't forget to hit the little bell button so you actually get notified if you enjoy me going really in depth with particular products and showing you exactly how the things work the pros the cons everything like that then don't forget to hit the thumbs up button so I know it really helps me out because I know exactly what you guys want to see then also all comments are welcome on products you want me to test I had a comment by, oh my gosh, I'm going to butcher your username, I'm so sorry, Valida, Val Valida, Valida, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know you wanted me to test the Revolution Superfruit Primer, which I'm totally going to do. They've also got a few other primers that I really want to try, like they've got like a black one. I want to see if that leaves a cast on my skin, see if it's pale girl friendly. <laughs> But yeah, anything you want me to try, review, thoroughly test, please leave a comment down below. I'm open to all things. Anyway, I'm kind of delirious. It's almost 3am. My voice is going. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, night, afternoon, <laughs> wherever you are in the world. And I hope to see you on the next one. Till then. Bye, guys. Please talk. Thank you. I'm going to quickly cut the... I'm gonna take this on a Spectrum A16 brush, which was a. Oh, ha, ha. Right, but it. But I just wanted. To, but. But I just wanted to test the qualities of these. Now I'm gonna take the Beauty Bay around the bend. I'm never gonna be able to say that right. That's all I'm saying. You pay a. As I said earlier, they look aesthetically pre. As I said earlier, they look excess. Why can I not say aesthetically? Please.
so chill life out. Oh my god. My gloss is going all ew. No. Munching up now. I don't want to taste my gloss. Thank you very much. I hope you guys are having sort yourself out. This is a nine pan bright ash ash out of palette. I don't know. Well, doing country all of a sudden. <laughs>